Hello Casio fans from all over the world. If you are tired of G-Shocks, don't be yet because we have another one. We have the DW6900 this time. So mainly it's the same watch as this one, which I had uh, reviewed it a couple of weeks ago. And I have uh, DW6900 in a pretty bad condition, I would say. Uh, you can see that this one has NATO straps and these um, adapters and also we do not have the battery. So in this video we will replace the strap with this one, the bluish one, and put an original strap to the old DW and then I will replace the battery and also check a little the position of the module because it seems to me that you see these three circles and the inner dot I'm not sure if it is visible on the camera but they are somehow tilted towards five o'clock position four o'clock position stay tuned First, I will uh, disassemble this strap and the adapters, then open the watch and replace the battery. And only after that, I will put the new strap because I will be able to work more uh, properly. That being said, let's uh, make some room and take down this old strap and the adapters the adapters are removed we can see a lot of dirt in it a lot of dust even if it is a golden color this case it's worn out because um, this gold it somehow faded here this is yellow and here is gold Let's open the watch. According to the back case, we have a 1289 module. I will just have to check if this applies also to the inner module. It should be written somewhere here, the module name. I cannot find it. Okay, I have brought this needle because it would be way easy for me to detach this back case from the clip yes and now let's extract the battery i will just use this tweezer so it seems that the module is properly fixed in the case yeah right now it is properly fixed still you now you can see that the inner circle is oriented towards five o'clock i have found a cr16 battery mm, it has some juice in it let me ac reset it yes it works so the 2016 battery works you can see that in order to ac reset it we have here the retaining ac and we just need to make contact between plus and the minus from the PCB. The minus is that point from this hole and the plus would be this, basically this plate. So the 2016 battery works. What I will do is also search on the internet just to make sure that this is the proper battery for this module. I have closed it. I will check again the position of the module so that it is aligned funny that nothing moves well, this is strange nothing moves on this watch all right not move but nothing blinks i'm not sure what was the issue what i have done is to take out the battery leave it around 10 seconds without battery then put it again and start it to work and this is also without the AC reset. Prior to placing it in it, I will just 
clean a little let's clean a little also the display because i have left some fingerprints on it now let's assembly it first let's put this rubber strap in it and now let's sync the module yes it worked now just make sure that it is correctly tilted so that we have the circles perfectly centered okay i will bring some uh, tissues and clean it first and now let's put back the case Now we have placed the main rubber seal and now let's put the back case. I will just prepare it a little so that I can replace the strap uh, and this preparation meaning that I will gently clean it with moisture tissue. I have gently cleaned it with moisture tissues and now the watch looks better for sure in a better condition than as it was given to me and now let's take the strap from the dw069 and put it on the 6900 make sure small strap on 12 o'clock position all right how do you like it do you think it would be better with a black one now let's put the black strap so this is original casio this one looks somehow similar to the 5600 so the square g-shock nevertheless i have chosen to put the bluish one to the golden one for sure i can replace them and put the black to the black uh, watch i guess is more proper black to black and uh, blue to the golden edition i will just take the old spring bars from the adapters I have taken the spring bars from the adapters and now I have black DW609 this is the black one and I have the 6900 with bluish or this is more indigo color with the golden case maybe the other colors would fit better for sure gold would get better with black i'm not sure why i have chosen this feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section since this watch has an identical model with the dw069 means that it has the same features please check my previous video where you can find out how to adjust the time and also to see the other features for this module I would like to show a comparison in between the electro looms of these two watches. We can see that the DW6900 has a more bluish light compared to the greenish one from the 069. This difference could be because one is older, but I cannot be sure. Please let me know your opinion in regards. At the end of the video, I will leave again the operation guide so that you can see how you can adjust the time if we discuss about the case and strap what can i say it seems that casio offers a large variety of colors although it is interesting how it can offer at least two type of straps on the same model we can see that we have this white strap with a metal clasp and also this narrow one with the plastic clasp. The plastic one is used also on the 56 series, at least a similar one. To be honest, I like better the black one. It doesn't make the watch look chunky at all. In regards to feeling and comfort, both offer the same feeling. But the black one seems that it can retain more the scratches. Therefore, I recommend the bluish one. If we compare the two back cases, it is mainly the same information. On the 6900, it is missing the water resistance value, and the trim looks older than for the 
0069. The 6900 has the shock resistance logo and the Japan version has the G-Shock logo. Not sure, but the Japan version looks newer. To conclude, I can say that this is an iconic watch and therefore a must-have in your Casio collection. From my point of view, this watch can be worn daily, unless your activities requires it. It is an iconic watch, therefore you must take care of it and wear it with joy. In the end, it's still an accessory. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to like and subscribe.